Welcome back. We're playing Pathfinder Kingmaker. And last time we continued making our way through the mansion, we picked up some companions and we've been fighting some bandits or assassins here in the mansion. We're trying to make our way into the banquet hall to meet up with, I want to say Jumanji, but I know that's not it. Uh, Jamandi in the banquet hall. So we're going to keep working our way there. I have a feeling maybe that's through this door. Uh, but before we go through there, we're going to check out this hallway. Onwards. I think those guys were trying to get in here. We'll just go ahead and take this stuff. Where are these? Interesting. Hmm. Don't know if that does anything. Did we get both of these? Yeah. Okay. March on. So we have a door here that's, was it locked? I guess it. More statues. I feel like this is some sort of puzzle to open something like right there maybe. Based on whose swords are up or down. Can't tell that one. Always does. I wonder if we need to get all the swords up. Are those affecting these two at all? That one is. It's bringing that one up. Okay. Lindsay, you come around here. So that one does those three. Okay, we got it. <laughs> that, that was tricky. I wasn't sure that was even going to be useful. But 
we got into like a treasure room. Nice. What's on this table? Gold, chain, mug, and a map. Citrine, a gleaming gem, agate, potion of remove blindness. Okay, beads, medallion. Oh, there's another chest here. Okay, cool. Well, I wasn't sure there would be any point to the, figuring out the statues. I guess there was. There's another painting in here. That looks a little suspicious. I wonder if we got them all to point down, if that would open this one. Do we even try? Okay, I'm gonna try to get those. What you? Do you three come back over here. Share your will. This is my path. Okay. You have my attention. I don't tolerate fools. Let's see. There's one of them, I think, that does these three. I think it's this one. Yes, okay. Well, maybe that was worth it. No stopping now. Another treasure room. Good deal. Okay, let's take all. So I think this showing how much we could potentially pick up and still be under our encumbrance limit. Wand of Magic Missile. Seems like that might be nice. Some nun nunchaku. Let's look at that wand. Can we use that? Let's put that on instead of this crossbow. Well, the, the crossbow can do some damage if we hit. I don't, it may be more, feels like we're more proficient at that than the, like that frost spell. Let's try this. This doesn't suit me. Oh. What if we just put it here? Something else. Okay, maybe we can't use that. It says can be used by this character. Do we need to unequip? I need something else. Huh. Hmm. 
Let's double click. Oh, it's a. So is that like a consumable? Interesting. That goes on our belt. It's not a weapon. Okay. All right, it looks like we're ready to open this door back here, which looks like maybe it's leading into the banquet hall. So this is like out into a courtyard. Why are you sitting down? <laughs> oh, we've got enemies. Let's see if she can take out one of them. So will she just walk as close as she needs to to be able to cast? Hmm. I guess she was close enough already. So that wand is here. Oh, it's got 11 charges. I get it. Let's see what that does. It's got some pretty good reach. Okay. Maybe we should just go ahead and use the potion. Yeah, it's only going to heal a maximum of five, or that's just the caster level. It could be up to eight points, so we could potentially be wasting some heal. We're okay, I think, for the moment. Maybe we just back up a little bit. I do want to pay attention to Jethel's health. She has... Oh, I guess we can't use her judgment again. So let's go ahead and use a potion. Oh, she's, she's undead. That damages her. Oh, shoot. So I wonder if we have anything that she can heal with. Interesting. Got to remember that. Let's turn this on. Fight defensively. Does it show that anywhere else? Doesn't look like it. Advance. Oh, good one. So is that, oh, okay, there it is. Fighting defensively, okay. Tartuccio, you can reach him with your crossbow. How about with Ray of Frost? You're gonna have to move a little bit. Okay. 
Oh, who's this? Casey. Oh, he killed one of them. Or she? Oh, that's the tiefling. I need to read about what a tiefling is. All right, let's see if you can daze him. Nice. Okay, Deo. Can you head over here? Get close enough for your ray of frost. Can't actually hit with it. Jethol. Just move up. We'll just we'll just go ahead and move clear up. Okay. Tartuccio, you come up here. Get another hit in on him. Nope. Lindsay, you can daze him again. Faith in you, yep. With a little fire. What a night, huh? I thought I was all alone. It's good you're here. A bit boring, chasing fool assassins without anyone watching the show. <laughs> so you like an audience. It's not fun at all. Many people have died for nothing. I don't know, maybe a little fun. Oh, knowledge world check passed. Huh. Okay. You sound like a Kelishite, am I right? Of course. I'm from Kadira. But tales of hot deserts and shady oases can wait until the fighting's finished. But if you'd like to share a dinner and pleasant conversation, just say the word. I like making new friends. Well, I don't think we've we've met. I am Kayesi, one of the many here who seek a better fate, answering the call of Lady Jamandi. Kayesi. But unlike the others, I never dropped my guard day or night. It's why I'm still alive. Well, let's get going. You gonna join us? I don't know where you're heading, but I'll be at the entrance to the main hall. I think I saw some guards there. Join me there if you wish. Okay. Yeah, that's where we're headed. Help the wounded dwarf. Oh. Harim. Before that, so, yeah. Jethal is an undead. Yeah, I could just read on their undead are powered by negative energy. The spell deals damage to them instead of curing their wounds. So you do not need to have that equipped. We could give that to someone else. Yes. We're good with that. You could. Yeah. Could use one. We'll wait. So, how does she heal then, I wonder? Do we have. Let's see. Uh, race. She's an elf, but she's undead. Here's a tieflings. What are tieflings? More, more and less than mortal tieflings 
offspring of humans and fiends. Otherworldly blood and traits to match. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to find out about undead and healing. Save. Grotus, I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, O oh Lord of Oblivion. <laughs> yeah, come on. Get up and fight. How rude. Speaking to a dying man that way. Look, <laughs> I can't even move. <laughs> what? It, 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 it can't be. But I'm gravely wounded. I can't even stand on my own two feet. Watch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah. It seems I will live. I seems so. I must postpone meeting my god. Not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Arim is at your service. Sounds good. All right, Arim. Clerics and Druids convert their spells spontaneously. Cleric of good alignment doesn't need to prepare healing spells. Cleric of evil alignment doesn't need to prepare inflict spells. So I wonder if that's what could heal our undead character. We need an evil cleric for that. So Harim must be some sort of cleric or druid. He's chaotic neutral. Servant of a dark god, abandon hope and embrace the inevitable end. That's the kind of speech that Harim's companions must endure. Every single day. Every single day. A priest of Grotus, Harim, left his dwarven home to spread the word of the god of end times throughout the stolen lands. Although if you ask me, Harim's just a whiner, a one of a kind. He's a cleric. Divine caster. Draw upon the power of the deities. Chaos domain, touch of chaos. Interesting. Destruction domain. Channel positive energy. Kind of liking this guy already. You can wear light and medium armor. And use a shield. It's got the constitution and wisdom and some strength. And let's see. What's in his spell book? Protection from law. They see bonus, true strike. Less. He has cure light wounds. I wonder if Okay. Yeah, so this inflict light wounds that should heal Jethel. I guess we could try that right now probably. Let's save. I'm gonna see. I'm over here. Oh, do we not? Do we not know that yet? It's got a scroll for that. Everywhere I go, Why the pole hangs over everything. 
though people say it was better before is it not these aren't learned or something maybe you can only use it in battle Maybe that has to be used in battle. We have the scroll. I just want to see so we know if this works or not. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. We can loot these guys. What kind of weapon did he have? He's got flail, okay. Or a mace. There's bludgeoning damage. Both bludgeoning. Uh, okay, he, he could have a potion. And what was this? Remove blindness. Okay. We've got five people in our party now. So let's get everybody here. We need to look at our formation now. So we can bring you two up front now. Let's move us all back slightly. Yeah, let's let's just get a little more separation here. There we go. Onwards. See how that looks. Yeah. Okay. Save it again before we head in here. No stopping now. Yeah, we just did that. Done. Got some guards over here. Talk. Guess not. So that must not be the way in. That door's blocked, it appears. Nothing this way. I didn't see which direction. Was it Kaisi? We just need to get in here closer. What are you, these guys doing? There we axe. go. You bring more water. You stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. Stay here and hold your defense. Talking to us? Aha! No. Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. Oh, we're trying to find it. Yeah, where is it? You'll have to run through the fire. We've oh. almost put it out at the entrance, so your main concern should be to not inhale any smoke. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hallway. Who are you? Keston, House Gares, a fighter in the service of Sword Lord Jamande Algori. Right now, I'm in charge of the Mansion Guards. As you can see, there's a lot to do. House Gares is based in the western part of Brevoy, in the foothills of the Golushkin Mountains. It is led by Lord Howland Gares, who is a widower. His adoptive heir is Toval Golka, a dwarf and son of the clan chief of the Golka Dwarves Holding. House Gares had a good relationship with the Golka Dwarves until the Dwarves vanished. Members of the house worked the metal that the Dwarves mined. The house's motto is strong as the mountains. If I were a rich and influential lady like Jamandi, I'd also get myself a 
Manly captain of the guard. <laughs> oh, you would, would you? You just thought you'd chime in with that? Well, yeah. I can kind of see what's going on here. I don't necessarily need to help with the fire. Let's go. Fire doesn't frighten me. Thanks to hell's blood running in my veins. I'll go ahead and wait for you on the other side. Catch up! May Abadar keep you safe. Okay, so we're just running through the fire. Let's save it before we do that. Doesn't look like best idea. Illustrated book episodes. Some game events play out as illustrated book episodes. Decisions you make can have a drastic impact on the development of the game's plot. You'll often need to make skill checks. Sometimes you'll need to choose a member of the party to perform the action. Sometimes it will be automatic. Okay. So our adventure started earlier and much more tragic than we'd expected. The whole team... So I wonder if this is supposed to be... Lindsay writing this. The whole team gathered in the hall yesterday had been reduced to but a handful of brave souls led by Modus Deo, and not at all by that scoundrel Tartuccio, no matter what he might have imagined of himself. Jamandi Aldori was waiting for us, but to get to her, we'd have to march through fire, literally. As we approached the burning building, we... Drenched ourselves with buckets of water, tried to find a less dangerous passage, covered our noses and mouths before we rushed inside. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, I guess... We could try to find a better route. But I feel like if there was a better route, those guys out there would have already found it. I think we just covered our faces and ran. It was a good thing we hadn't wasted any time. After entering the building and taking just a few steps forward, the wall behind us slanted and crashed down with a terrible crackling sound, blocking the way. While we may not have planned on going back, if we'd come in a little later, the flaming logs and red-hot bricks would have fallen right on our heads. Regardless, we were left with only one way to go. Alright. The hot air burned our lungs and our eyes watered from the smoke, but Modus Deo led us stub stubbornly through the flames, while Tartuccio did nothing useful at all. We made it to the hallway leading to the banquet hall when we heard someone calling for us. It was Valerie, one of the guards I'd chatted with a bit in the banquet hall. Even then, in that calm setting, I'd been stunned by her beauty. But now, amid the smoke and flames, she looked like a celestial avenger, an armored deity, menacing but beautiful and merciful, descending from the higher spheres to help us poor mortal mortals. She held a burned, barely living guard in her arms. There are two more, she shouted as she passed us passed by us. They are wounded. Help me pull them out. Tartuccio grumbled something about Jamandi, how Jamandi was waiting for us. Meanwhile, Modus Deo rushed to save the guards or shouted to Valerie. Oh, we can see. So she's got plus two athletics. We've got a plus nine. Well, it looks like We've got a little better opportunity here. Shout to Valerie. Succeeded, right? Valerie hesitated. For this valiant warrior, two things came above all else. Loyalty to her pledge and duty to her comrades in arms. Now she had to choose one over the other. Modus Deo showed exceptional eloquence, no easy thing with the flames roaring all around. With a heavy sigh, Valerie stopped arguing and followed us to the dome of the banquet hall, 
where the battle was already in full swing. Gained 22 experience. Nice. That's cool. That's kind of fun. Somebody's fatigued. Is that why she's... No, that, that's a guard. Symbol near their portrait. Oh, she's with us, and she's fatigued. Okay. Here. Valerie. Tower shield specialist. Okay. She's going in our front line. For sure. Valiant defender, reliable comrade in battle, proud Valerie rejected her destiny as a paladin of Shaylin, instead leaving the order behind to find her own way in life. Her loyalty to our cause is only matched by her divine beauty. True, she can be a touch arrogant at times, but I always feel safe when she's around, like she's a rock I can cling to. Lindsay's got a little crush on her, I think. She's a fighter, tower shield specialist. Burst barriers. Bastard sword proficiency. Okay. She has bastard sword, tower shield, heavy armor. Okay. You can have a potion. What's this? Belt lantern. Okay. All right. She's fatigued. So how do she cannot charge and takes minus two penalties, strength and dex. Doing anything that would normally cause fatigue causes her to become exhausted. So she needs to rest, basically. We're at medium encumbrance. I guess we won't worry about that too much for the time being. Let's look at our formation. Okay, let's let's put you two off slightly. Like this. Let's let's swap this around. There we go. Okay. Let's keep going here. We can talk to this guard. Oh, that's who Valerie was carrying. Oops. March on. Oh, I got the impression uncollected loot. I think we're okay. Uh, I am your shield. Her alignment, I'm guessing, is... Oh, she's lawful and neutral. Okay. I thought maybe she'd be lawful good. She's always sitting down. Oh, okay, so it shows us. Hmm. Oh, we can still collect that from here. That's nice. Oh, that's all really nice. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, save. So we head through here. Oh. Wow. 
Oh. This place is taking a beating. So we need to get in there and help. No stopping now. So like quite the fight here. They're kind of focused on the frost giant, maybe. He's a friendly. Interesting. So their leaders. Going next, can you daze him? Not close enough. Don't really want to put you clear up there. I'm gonna have to look up. I wish I could find that delay turn command. I feel like that's somewhere I'm missing. Delay, there we go. <laughs> it's right on the screen. Yeah, let's delay your turn. Oh, cool. This, that's the end of the round. Uh, yeah, let's just put you at the end. Oh. They're gonna come at that at that point every time. Then interesting. Maybe that's okay. She's probably gonna be using this. Looks like, oh, okay, he's coming at us. He's coming. Who's, oh, this, this is Kaisi over here. So you can reach some people with your crossbow. Let's just do that. Hit this channeler. We can do it. Okay, good. Oh, that so that force field must be what Jamandi has up around herself. Do we have an enemy over here? Can't see behind that pillar. I guess not. She can't use charge because she's fatigued. Let's bring you up. And put on your defensive fighting. And let's go ahead and put this on. Doesn't show our defensive fighting, but I think we've got that on. All right, Jethal. Let's 
let's bring you up a bit. And I don't know if you can do anything else here yet. Still have that on. Let's turn that off. Tartuccio. Can you reach that guy with your frost? Um, probably. If you move up a bit. Yeah. Oh. Supposed to hit him, not the step right there. Got some of their attention. Okay, harem, harem. Destructive smite. Touch of chaos. Oh, well, that's a heal. Okay. True strike. Bless. Oh. Let's do that. And then bring you up just a bit. Yeah. All right, then, Lindsay. Now, let's see how you have to get to reach him. Puts you up there, but... Let's try it. Yeah, he saved. Okay. Protection from good. Alright, Deo, is it just crossbow time? Or are you going to use some magic? I think we just crossbow. Just buffing themselves. All right, Valerie. Ready to hit on this guy. Okay, Jethal. Bleeding touch. We haven't used that yet. Let's try that. On you. Did it hit? Okay, it did. Protection from good. Let's see. Plus two deflection and AC. Bonus to AC resistance. Bonus against attacks by good creatures. That's probably Lin Lindsay. I think she she's.
Jathil's evil. Valerie's neutral. Neutral. Evil. Good. She's Lindsay's the only good alignment. Okay. She's done. Tartuccio. Alright, let's finish this guy off. Target with chaos as a melee touch attack. Next round, anytime target rolls a d20, you have to roll twice and take the less favorable result. Ah. Let's do it. I don't like that attack of opportunity you got on us, but okay, Lindsay. Can we get a daze on someone? So we can try the leader again. Get it this time? No. Nope. Probably should have tried somebody else. Okay. Give your ray of frost a try. <laughs> you can't hit anything with that. Valerie. Nice one. Why is she glowing? Is that the defensive fighting? Oh, she's shaken. The less severe state of fear. Okay. Why don't you move up a little bit? So we have, I don't know if she did, this treat affliction, it's a disease or poisoned, so that that's not going to help with something like fear, demoralize, she has a, a charge, I don't really want her just charging in there though. Um, you could maybe go after this channeler over here. Can you reach him? Yeah, why don't we send you... Send you over here. Can you... Still attack. I guess we can't get an attack off. Move up and hit him. He seems to have a lot better result with his Ray of Frost than we do. Got all these bowmen here. I don't really 
really want to just go charging in yet. Um, does he have anything to help with her fear levels? I thought that's what this is supposed to do. Yeah. Is that still on? Yeah. Is it on her? Yeah. Do we need to heal anyone? Heals everyone. Even our enemies, I wonder. Nobody's. Let's. I just want to see what that does. Does it heal everyone or just friendlies? It heals everyone. Everyone. Hmm. Okay. All right, Lindsay, let's not try the leader again. Let's try to daze this guy. Nope. Okay, you see? Oh, some, we've got Amiri over there joining the fight. Let's just, I hate just using the crossbow with him, but nothing else seems to hit. I don't know. Let's, we'll try our Ray of Frost. <laughs> nope. Nice. Okay, Valerie, it looks like you're you're not shaking anymore. That's good. So let's just bring you in here. You get a hit on him. Oh. He's got mirror image on. There's a Miri with her big sword. Jethel. Why don't you just take out this channeler like you did the last one? Despicable. Yeah. Close. And Tartu Tartuccio. You hit with your frost. I wish it had try to take out that channeler. Okay, Harem. Now you can move up. Guess you can't get close enough to do anything this turn. True strike. We could turn that on. And that still affects next turn. Let's try that. What's that mean on her? Where's she going? Is she afraid or something? She's frightened. Okay. 
Okay. Where's the one that's... There's him. Okay, let's just take him with the crossbow. Nice. Okay. You're done. And Valerie... I guess you just keep trying at him. It's okay. You're just there to take the heat. While Amiri comes in and slashes away. Jathal, you take out this other bowman. Not quite. You get him. Boy, the accuracy on the magic just isn't there. <laughs> but that should get better. Uh, do we want you? I think somebody else will take care of that bowman before his turn. So you can just let's see. Let's do this touch of chaos on him. You're back with us, Lindsay. Probably can't reach anybody now. Just move up here. What, did you get scared again? I didn't see it go. I guess you missed. I thought somebody would take care of that bowman, but they didn't. Oh, she got him. Okay. Those attacks of opportunity are no joke. Let us strike as one. She's no joke with that sword. Nice. Okay. We finished the fight. And we're going to end it there. Next time, we will talk to Jamandi. Not Jumanji. Jamandi. We'll talk to her and keep going from there. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again. Bye-bye.